Uh, my name is Dave Yearling. I am an internist and clinical pharmacologist here at Sunnybrook Hospital and a senior scientist at ISIS. And my research at ISIS involves primarily the assessment of what happens when you give medications to, to people. Um, it's an important line of work, I think, because of how commonly physicians prescribe drugs. And when we, when we give drugs to patients, we generally do that because we hope the benefits of the drugs will exceed the risks of the drugs, and all prescription drugs, and non-prescription drugs for that matter, carry some risk. Um, now as a doctor, when I prescribe medications to a patient, I often do so because of research that tells me that it's a good idea, that I'm going to be affording the patient some benefit. Um, and the studies that generate those kinds of uh, inferences um, don't always translate to the real world. Uh, so the people who get into those trials are often very different from the sorts of patients I see. Um, they tend to be followed more closely than the patients in the real world are. Uh, and um, in, in general, there just are very many, there are many different uh, ways in which people in the real world are different from people who are enrolled in, uh, in research studies. And so sometimes the benefits that we expect to see from a given drug um, aren't as clear cut in the real world as they were in the studies that got those drugs to market. And sometimes the harms of the drugs that we see in the real world are greater than what we saw in the clinical trials. Um, so what we do is we, we use large data sets looking at the uh, prescribing of drugs, mostly to older people, but not exclusively. And we try and tease out signals of harm, or in some instances, evidence of benefit from the medications. And I think what's, what's important about that is it gives doctors, and to a certain extent patients, a sense of um, the extent to which research findings translate into clinical practice. Uh, personally, it's, it's helpful because I think I'm, um, as much as I'm mindful of drug safety concerns already, doing research, I think, keeps me a little more up-to-date than I otherwise might be. It makes me more mindful of the potential risks of drugs. And i got to say that there are times when patients I care for um, generate research ideas. Um, you know, I, I see them come to hospital uh, with a drug-related problem, and sometimes I think to myself, that's the sort of thing that we could study, and we could see, is this a one-off that happened in this patient, or is it something that happens more often than we might appreciate? 